and also means uh, it will be later on but uh, i will explain you about uh, the secondary tillage and all that first of all there are some secondary tillage implements what is secondary tillage and uh, like that so we'll see first what is the uh, secondary tillage is the screen visible or not because uh, ppt i haven't uh, ppt is not there just i will explain you the pdf file of uh, secondary tillage is the screen uh, visible of uh, secondary tillage you can put yes sir okay okay so we will start uh, with this uh, some students are still joining so we will wait for 2 uh, 3 minutes and uh, then see
microphone is off now. Some students are still joining, so we'll wait for uh, two, three minutes, and then we'll start with the uh, secondary tillage. Okay, it is already recording. Now we'll start with the screen. Okay, just wait for one or two minutes. We'll start with. Okay, now the screen is uh, visible about the uh, secondary tillage. Okay, I have already told you that uh, the secondary tillage is a lighter operation uh, than as compared to the uh, primary tillage. So let's see. Harrow is. A secondary tillage uh, implement that cuts the soil to shallow depth for smoothening and pulverizing the soil as well as to cut the weeds and to mix the materials with the soil. There are several types of the harrow used in India. Disc harrow is there, spike tooth harrow is there, spring tooth harrow. Means it is asked uh, what are uh, in least uh, different, what, what, are, what is the function of uh, harrow and in least different types of the harrow. So you should know that the disc harrow, spike tooth harrow, spring tooth harrow. In Acme Harrow, Patela, Triangular Harrow, Blade Harrow. Blade Harrow, uh, this is actually blade, huh? this is blade, B L A D E. Blade Harrow is also known as a buckler. We say that it is a buckler or a worker. Uh, then Guntaka is there, uh, reciprocating power harrow. So we'll see about uh, the disc harrow. Uh, it is a harrow which performs harrowing operation by means of a set or a number of uh, sets of rotating slant disks so means it is just like a disk plow but uh, disk plow and uh, this is different thing disk plow is a different thing and disk harrow is a uh, disk harrow is a secondary tillage implement so it has a number of disks performing harrowing operations by means of a set or a number of rotating uh, slant disks each uh, set being mounted on a common shaft disk uh, uh, harrow is found very suitable for hard ground uh, full stalks and the uh, grasses. It cuts the lumps of the soil, clods and the uh, roots. Discs are mounted on one or a common shaft or two or more axles, which may be at a variable angles to the line of motion. We will see this in figure. As the harrow is pulled ahead, discs rotate on the ground. Depending upon the disc arrangement, disc harrows are divided into two classes, single action and double action. Uh, there is third also, a tandem disc harrow. We will see it uh, later. Now, first of all, we will see single action disc harrow. See, this is the figure of uh, single action uh, disc harrow. This is a, offset, a double action disc harrow. And third is the offset disc harrow. Offset disc harrow is called, also called as a tandem disc harrow. T-A-N-D-E-M. Is the screen visible? Hello? Is the screen visible and are you able to listen me or not? You can ch put in the chat box or you can. Uh... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Aditya, uh, okay. Okay, and this screen over this thing and a secondary till it's. Oh, this thing. Bar, bar, bar. Okay, I'm going to go to Okay, take it. Uh, uh, there are three types of uh, disc arrows like uh, single action disc arrow, double action disc arrow, and ha, offset disc arrow. Offset disc arrow is also known as a tandem disc. T A N D E M. Okay, tandem disc uh, arrow. So we'll see it. 
सिंगल ऍक्शन मध्ये काय वाटतं हा एक कॉमन हा एक शाफ्ट आहे आणि हा एक शाफ्ट आहे कॉमन शाफ्ट म्हणून ह्या शाफ्ट वर देर आर नंबर ऑफ डिस्क आर माउंटेड आणि लाईन ऑफ पुल कुठे आहे लाईन ऑफ पुल इज ऍट द सेंटर आता याला काय म्हणायचं गँग जी ए एन जी गँग गँग कशाला म्हणायचं व्हेन नंबर ऑफ डिस्क आर माउंटेड ऑन ए कॉमन शाफ्ट आता ह्या शाफ्ट वर तुम्हाला मला वाटतं एट डिस्क दिसतात बघा हा हे एट डिस्क असतील इकडे एट नाईन डिस्क असतील समजा एट डिस्क तर इथं गँग किती आहे देर आर टू गँग्स गँग मीन्स ए जी ए एन जी एस तुमचा जो गँग जो अभिप्रेत आहे ते नाही हा गँग लक्षात ठेवा द इट इज ऑल्सो आस्क फॉर फिल इन द ब्लँक्स अँड ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह टाईप the uh, the arrangement of or uh, when the number of disks are arranged on a common shaft when the number of disks are arranged on a common shaft this arrangement is called as a gang the single action madhe tumhala don gang dissat line of the pool is at the center okay ani uh, ata double action madhe tumhala uh, number of gangs kit dissat four astil kiwa six astil pair madhe baka hi ek pair hi dusri pair nanta tisri pair wagera asa asel लाईन ऑफ पुल इज ऍट द सेंटर आता ऑफ सेट डिस्क हॅरो मध्ये दोन गँग दाखवल्या गँग नंबर ऑफ डिस्क आर माउंटेड ऑन द कॉमन शाप दोन गँग दाखवतात पण लाईन ऑफ पुल हा सेंटरला नाही लाईन ऑफ पुल इज ऑन द आता हा समजा आपण ट्रॅक्टरच्या राईट साईडला आहे तर लाईन ऑफ पुल विल बी टू द राईट साईड ऑफ द ट्रॅक्टर आणि जर ह्या गँग तुमच्या लेफ्टला जर असेल दोन्ही पण तर लाईन ऑफ पुल हा काय असतो लेफ्ट ऑफ द ट्रॅक्टर आता हे मला एक्सप्लेन करायचं की सिंगल ऍक्शन डिस्क हॅरो म्हणजे काय का बरं याला सिंगल ऍक्शन म्हणायचं डबल ऍक्शनच का म्हणायचं ऑफसेट डिस्क हॅरो किंवा त्याला तुम्ही टॅन्डम डिस्क टी ए एन डीई एम टॅन्डम डिस्क हॅरो तर हे असं का म्हणायचं मी तुम्हाला एक्सप्लेन करतो सिंगल ऍक्शन म्हणजे काय होतं बघा ही जी सॉईल जी आहे ती आता समजा ही जी गँग जो आहे तो ट्रॅक्टरच्या राईटला आहे मग तो ट्रॅक्टरच्या राईटला सॉईल अशी थ्रो करेल आणि ही गँग कुठं आहे लेफ्टला आहे समजा मग ट्रॅक्टरच्या लेफ्टला सॉईल काय करेल हा थ्रो करेल थ्रो करेल म्हणजे बाजूला टाकली जाईल लेफ्टला इथं सिंगल पलवरायझेशन होत सिंगल पलवरायझेशन ऑफ द सॉईल टेक्स प्लेस इन सिंगल ऍक्शन डिस्क करू डबल ऍक्शन मध्ये आता डबल ऍक्शन का बरं याला डबल ऍक्शन का म्हणायचं ठीक आहे इट इज ओनली सिंगल इन सिंगल ऍक्शन ओनली वन पेअर ऑफ गँग इज प्रोव्हायडेड इन डबल ऍक्शन two pairs of gangs are more than two it may be six pair it may be four pair it may be uh, eight pairs like that pan acha double action ka manaycha samjha ti hi gang ji hai pudchi gang ti soil ji samjha uh, kutra throw karel throw samjha right la karel apan asa manu tar tumhi ya disk cha arrangement baka he baka yacha yacha kar kuthe baka ya disk cha kar kuthe an he disk baka ya bajula hai ह्या डिस्कच्या अरेंजमेंट ही कम्प्लिटली अपोजिट आहे बघा ह्या डिस्कच्या अरेंजमेंट पुढची गँग जी आहे त्याच्या पाठीमागचा जो गँग आहे त्याचं अरेंजमेंट ही कम्प्लिटली अपोजिट आहे म्हणजे जर हा गँग जो आहे किंवा हे जे डिस्क जे आहे ते लेफ्टला जर किंवा राईटला सॉईल जर थ्रो करत असेल तर हा कुठं करतो लेफ्टला आणि हा समजा राईटला सॉईल आता इकडची इकडची एक गँग जर बघितली तर इकडचं गँगचे डिस्कचे अरेंजमेंट आणि त्याच्या माग गँग जे आहे त्याच्या डिस्कच्या अरेंजमेंट कम्प्लिटली अपोजिट आहे मग म्हणजे हा जर सॉईल पलोरायझेशन किंवा पलोराइज केल्यानंतर सॉईल जर लेफ्टला टाकत जर असेल तर इकडची ही जी गँग आहे ती राईटला टाकते म्हणजे डबल पलोरायझेशन होतं ओके सॉईलचं अपोजिट पलोरायझेशन होतं लेफ्टला एक गँग लेफ्टला टाकते त्याच्या पाठीमागचं गँग जी आहे ती काय करते राईटला टाकते म्हणजे पुढची जर पुढचं गँग समजा लेफ्टला टाकत असेल तर मागची गँग राईटला राईट लटर सो डबल ऍक्शन ऑफ द सॉईल ऑर डबल पलोरायझेशन ऑफ द सॉईल टेक्स प्लेस दॅट्स वाय इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ डबल ऍक्शन डिस्क हॅरो आता ऑफसेट डिस्क हॅरो मध्ये काय होतं की ठीक आहे ऑफसेट डिस्क हॅरो मध्ये बघा तुम्हाला अपोजिट दिसतात हे दोन्ही दोन्ही अपोजिट आहे इट्स ओके अपोजिट आहे त्यांचे डिस्क चे अरेंजमेंट अपोजिट आहे पण त्याचं थ्रोइंग ऑफ द सॉईल ओनली टू द लेफ्ट ऑर राईट हे होईल पण दोन्ही बाजूला नाही ट्रॅक्टरच्या फक्त राईटला असेल किंवा ट्रॅक्टरच्या फक्त लेफ्टला असेल ते म्हणजे अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द डिस्क आता इथं लाईन ऑफ द पुल कुठं आहे डबल ऍक्शनला सेंटरला लाईन ऑफ द पुल कुठं आहे सेंटरला पण ज्या वेळेला फक्त दोन्हीच्या दोन्ही गँग हे राईटला जोडलाय किंवा लेफ्टला जोडलाय सो द लाईन ऑफ द ऍक्शन विल बी टू द राईट ऑफ द ट्रॅक्टर ऑर इफ द गँग आर अरेज ऑन द लेफ्ट ऑफ द ट्रॅक्टर देन द लाईन ऑफ ऍक्शन ऑफ द डिस्क हॅरो विल बी टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ द ट्रॅक्टर दॅट्स वाय दॅट्स वाय इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ ऑफसेट डिस्क हॅरो इट इज कॉल्ड एज ऑफसेट डिस्क हॅरो बिकॉज the line of the pool is not at the center it will be either left side of the tractor or right side of the tractor that's why it is called as offset disc arrow or tandem disc arrow so it is explained in these notes you can uh, see uh, these notes later on okay
ఒక సింగిల్ ఎక్స్చేంజ్ అండ్ టెన్ టెన్ డిస్క్ ఆరు డబుల్ ఎక్స్చేంజ్ డిస్క్ ఆరు ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ నా డబుల్ ఎక్స్చేంజ్ అండ్ సింగిల్ ఎక్స్చేంజ్ ఈజ్ మచ్ ఈజియర్ ఐ విల్ జస్ట్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ నా ద ఆఫ్సెట్ డిస్క్ ఆరు హియర్ హియర్ ఈజ్ ద ఫిగర్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆఫ్సెట్ డిస్క్ ఆరు ఇట్ ఈస్ టు ద రైట్ ఆఫ్ ద టెక్టర్ ఆర్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ఓన్ ఫిగర్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆఫ్సెట్ డిస్క్ ఆరు ఇట్ ఈస్ అ డిస్క్ ఆరు విత్ టూ గ్యాంగ్స్ ఇన్ టెండమ్ capable of being offset to either side uh, of the center of the pool either side means to the left of the tractor or to the right of the tractor two gangs are fitted one behind the other the soil is thrown in both directions because of the dis- uh, gangs force uh, face in the opposite directions mujhe theek hai the ha right la karat asel tar ha left la kare it's okay but the line of pool is uh, not at the center it is to either side of the tractor that's why it is called as a tandem disc arrow or offset disc arrow so we will see the disc arrow consists of a okay one uh, important point is that dash dash disc arrow is used in gardens or orchards it is already asked in the mcq offset disc arrow is used in orchards or gardens orchards and gardens madhe apan konta offset disc arrow vaparto te lakshat thevle pahije disc arrow mainly consists of a disc gang gang bolt gang uh, center uh, lever spool ते आपण नंतर बघूया स्पूल और आर्बर बोल्ट स्पेसर बेरिंग किंवा याच्यामध्ये तुम्हाला सांगतो स्पेसर म्हणजे ह्या दोन डिस्क मध्ये जो असतो त्याला काय म्हणायचं स्पेसर म्हणायचं ओके स्पेसर इज प्रोव्हायडेड टू मेंटेन द डिस्टन्स बिटवीन प्रॉपर डिस्टन्स बिटवीन द टू डिस्क आता डिस्क म्हणजे काय डिस्क इज अ सर्क्युलर कॉन्क्युअर रिव्हॉल्विंग स्टील प्लेट युज फॉर कटिंग और इन्व्हर्टिंग द सॉइल डिस्क इज मेड ऑफ अ हाय ग्लास हिट ट्रीटेड हार्ड ऑन स्टील tractor drawn disc arrows have concave disc size varying 35 to 70 cm in diameter concavity of the disc affects penetration and polarization of the soil usually two types of the discs are used in uh, disc arrows plain disc and the cut uh, that is the uh, uh, disc so it is gang gang is important term each set of discs are mounted on a common shaft is called a gang gang bolt or arbor bolt it is a long heavy square headed bolt from other end a set of discs are mounted on the gang bolt gang bolt or a set of the disc ka fit ke fit kelele astat kiwa mount kelele astat the spacing between the discs on the gang bolt uh, is between 15 to 25 cm for light uh, duty and for heavy duty uh, 25 cm to uh, heavy duty means uh, heavy operations you have to perform and the weight of the disc or the size of the disc is more gang control lever gang control lever a lever which operates gang mechanisms of the disc uh, of arrow is called gang control lever then space and uh, spool and the spacer uh, the flank tube mounted on the gang bolt between every two discs to prevent lateral movement of the disc on the shaft is called spool or the uh, spacer so lateral movement of the disc is avoided because of the spool or spacer bearing is essential to counteract the thrust of the gang due to the soil thrust so just uh, remember all that then transport wheel is also the transport wheel maybe you have not seen this it is not here transport fort uh, transport wheel is not shown but what is the use of the uh, it is a tra- when uh, the disc arrow is trailing type of the uh, equipment the transport wheels are provided to transport uh, on the roads for preventing edges of the disc to damage and mounted type of the disc uh, arrow do not require wheels for transport work स्क्रॅपर स्क्रॅपर हा डिस्क हॅरो मध्ये तुम्ही स्क्रॅपर बघितला असेल तसाच ह्या डिस्कच्या मध्ये स्क्रॅपर असतो डिस्क ऍक्च्युली इट प्रिव्हेंट इट प्रिव्हेंट द फ्रॉम क्लॉगिंग इट रिमूव्ह द सॉइल दॅट मे स्टिक टू द कॉन्क्यू साइड ऑफ द डिस्क वेड बॉक्स कशासाठी असत वेड बॉक्स फ्रेम इज प्रोव्हायडेड टू द मेन फ्रेम ऑफ द हॅरो फॉर पुटिंग ऍडिशनल वेट ऑन द इम्प्लिमेंट ऍडिशनल वेट हेल्प इन इन्क्रीजिंग द पेनेट्रेशन ऑफ द डिस्क पेनेट्रेशन ऑफ द डिस्क इज इन्क्रीज बिकॉज ऑफ द धिस वेट देन वील सी अनदर that uh, uh, there are few steps a sharp uh, edge discs are more effective uh, penetration to the blunt edges so the disc of uh, the edges of the sharp should be a uh, not should be a blunt it should be a sharp edges it is observed that penetration is better in low speed than the high speed so uh, the speed of the harrow should be a minimum and following some there are some adjustment in the harrow for obtaining a higher penetration by increasing the disc angle it is already explained uh, in previous topic that uh, uh, the disc angle should be increased uh, by adding the additional weight by lowering the hitch point by uh, using the sharp edge the disc of uh, 
smaller diameter and uh, losses the concavity by regulating the optimum speed so these are the adjustment to get uh, better penetration of the so there are uh, different types of the arrow you can read it uh, later i will i will put it uh, into the, your uh, google classroom uh, because it is not asked that explains pipe to arrow or pick to arrow it is just asked for uh, and the functions are only just uh, the, their uh, uh, you can say their design is uh, different uh, and but the function is same uh according to, uh, say it is used in guard or braces lever hooks or spike to there is spike to arrow uh, we'll see the figures of that then this is the spring to arrow so these are different types of the arrow see this is the spike to arrow it has the spikes this is the spring to arrow uh, it has a springing mechanism or spring mechanism then there is acme arrow you have to remember only the uh, names of this then there is patela then uh, Say this is the figure of Acme hero. This is the figure of Patela. Then triangular hero. Okay, it is available in the laboratory actually. Many uh, equipments uh, triangular hero. Okay, it is a, it is a, like a spike tooth hero with a triangular frame. Means uh, triangular hero is uh, the same like this. It is a square uh, or it is a rectangular shape. Uh, so uh, it is only a, this uh, triangular hero is also a spike tooth hero and it is in triangular frame. Okay. So there is blade hero in Maharashtra. It is called as a bucker or a worker or something. Say this is the triangular hero. This is your blade hero. It has handle, beam, and this is the blade or cutting blade like this. These are the spike and this is the figure of triangular hero. Then guntaka is also there. It is the important type of a blade hero. Guntaka is a type of blade hero. You should know that guntaka is nothing any different. It is a uh, important uh, type of the blade hero. And actually, why there are different types of the blade hero? It is according to the requirement and according to the uh, what you can say um, type of the soil. There are different types of uh, arrows. Uh, then reciprocating power arrow is there. So this is the figure of uh, reciprocating power arrow. Then uh, there is a bund uh, farmer. Okay, uh, this is all. It is not a arrow. It is not a secondary tillage implement. Uh, secondary tillage. Bund farmer is a secondary tillage implement, but it is not a type of a arrow. Bund farmer is not a arrow. It is just uh, a secondary tillage implement. Uh, it has. Uh, it is used for making bunds or ridges by collecting the soils. Bunds are required uh, to hold water in the soil. Thereby, one can conserve moisture and prevent the runoff. The size of the bund farmer is determined. By means of measuring the maximum horizontal distance between the two rear ends of the uh, framing boards, one form of consists of boarding frame, uh, beam, and the handle. Then there is ridger also. So these are the secondary uh, different types of the. Uh, just wait for a while. Uh, okay, uh, so we'll see. Uh, okay, I'm audible now. Am I audible? You can just speak now. No problem. Am I audible? And the screen is visible or not? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, we are actually uh, learning different types of the secondary tillage implement. We have seen the harrows now. The uh, cultivator is also there. Culti harrow, cultivator. This bund farmer, land leveler, upon Fuliver over a person of Fuli, Majabulog drawn as the tip and Fulijas to tell upon land leveler one. The land leveler do I open secondary tillage. Ridger, Ridger upon rich carnage at the hemisphere, like he shaped a Ridger as to a different type of Hika Vicharat, but it may be asked for objective that Ridger is a secondary tillage implement or primary tillage implement. The Alabaja, Puddler as to Puddler Kutama Vaporta, Puddler is an important. Uh, implement for churning the soil with the water. Puddler ha uh, rice kiwa bhatachi shiti ji aste upon tactor cha chakan la zortu. Tactor cha chakan la puddler zortla zato. And puddler is an important implement for churning the soil with water. 
it is used to prepare paddy fields for standing water after initial plowing with the country plow it breaks up the clods and churns the soil the main purpose of puddling is to reduce the leaching of the water leaching of the water is reduced or decrease percolation of the water decrease percolation of the water or to reduce the leaching of water is the main objective of the puddling uh, to kill the weeds by decomposition and facilitate transportation uh, transplantation of the paddy seedlings by making the soil softer uh, so the main function is churning of the soil churning of the soil is done with the help of puddling uh, puddler puddler is done with the standing water of 5 to 10 cm depth a common puddler has puddling units each having for straight blades or puddles or a sand types of the blades or squirrel types of the blades mounted on the axle uh, the axle uh, with the puddling unit is fully mounted on the two bearings on a metal or the wood frame the weight of the puddler is about 30 to 40 kg now i don't have the figure to show you that uh, puddler so land leveler we know that uh, what the land leveler does there are different types of the land leveler uh, it may be bullock drawn it may be a uh, so there are some uh, uh, functions are they were efficient uh, application of irrigation water improved uh, surface drainage minimum soil erosion and increased conservation of the rain water then uh, provision of adequate field uh, size and uh, even topography so uh, this is uh, the function of the leveler there also another equipment cultivator cultivator is also a secondary tillage implement uh, it is important for exam it is an important uh, implement or secondary tillage implement for inter cultivation with laterally adjustable tines or the disc to work between the crops i will show you the figure of uh, cultivators later or already we have seen the previous uh, when we have seen the primary tillage and secondary tillage the slides in that cultivator i have already uh, shown and the cultivator of uh, two types it is a spring uh, type cultivator and uh, the second is rigid type cultivator so we'll see uh, first of all if the figure is there okay uh, this is the tractor drawn uh, cultivator it has a springs who is the stupid so uh, this is a spring type of cultivator it has a tines uh, number of tines uh, say the number of tines are odd already say it is a nine tine cultivator uh, eight and nine uh, tines are already uh, odd odd uh, odd number uh, nine tines seven tines five tines it is a spring loaded cultivator it has a springs okay see the component it has a hitch point it has a main frame the springs and this spine and the end of uh, this uh, tine is actually a shovel okay it is a shovel it is a shovel okay then uh, there is also a rigid type of cultivator uh, what is the difference between uh, uh, this is actually spring loaded this is a spring loaded cultivator and in the rigid uh, type of cultivator only these springs are not present the difference is that only the springs are not pr uh, present in cultivator with uh, rigid tines so we'll see uh, the functions and all that so we'll see first of all cultivator is an important uh, secondary tillage implement with uh, laterally adjustable tines or discs to work between uh, crop rows the cultivator stirs the soil it actually stirs the soil and breaks the clods the tines fitted on the frame of the cultivator comb the soil deeply in the field the cultivator performs functions intermediate between two uh, intermediate between uh, those of the plow and the harrow destruction the main uh, function is destruction of the weeds is the primary function of the cultivator it is a secondary tillage implement you should know that it is a secondary tillage implement which does the operation of destruction of the weeds then also what is uh, broken the clods are broken Dist uh, the following are few important functions performed by cultivator intercultural uh, interculturing the field then destroy the weeds aerate the soil for proper uh, growth of the crops conserve moisture by preparing mulch on the surface to uh, sow or to see to sow seeds uh, when it is provided with the sowing attachment we will see it later on how cultivator can be used uh, like a seed drill uh, to prevent uh, surface evaporation and increase uh, rapid infiltration of the rain water into the soil 
cultivator may uh, be a disc cultivator it is a rotary cultivator it is a tine cultivator there are three main types of this so disc cultivator is a cultivator fitted with the disc rotary cultivator is fitted with tines or blades mounted on a power driven horizontal shaft tine cultivator it has a number of tines having a shovels so we'll see some tractor drawn cultivators like uh, trailed type cultivator it consists of a main frame which carries a number of cross members uh, which uh, to which tines are fitted a trail type cultivator also a tines are fitted at the forward end of the cultivator there are hitch arrangement for hitching purpose a pair of uh, wheels are provided to the cultivator a uh, height of the hitch is adjustable uh, so that main frame uh, remains horizontal over a range of depth setting the tines in each row are spaced widely to allow uh, free passage of the soil and uh, trash the around them so these are some uh, functions or the arrangement of that so mounted cultivator the tractor fitted with hydraulic lift operate uh, uh, means hydraulic lift is not pre present in trail type and mounted the mounted uh, type of cultivator is fully it is attached to the hydraulic uh, control hydraulic lift operator is there and it is fully controlled by the hydraulic unit trail type is not controlled by the hydraulic unit okay and not controlled by the steering uh, system uh, mounted is uh, controlled by the steering system a rectangular uh, frame of the angle is mounted on three point hydraulic linkage of the tractor the cross member carries uh, two staggered lines depending upon the type of the soil and crop shovels are chosen for uh, uh, use on the cultivators usually tractors drawn cultivators are two types one is cultivator with spring loaded already we have seen the figures and cultivator with rigid tines which does not have the springs so cultivator with uh, i will not explain this uh, this is the cultivator with uh, spring loaded and uh, this is the cultivator with the uh, uh, it is the figure is not there but the cultivator with the uh, rigid type तुम्हाला काय लेक्चर आहे का दहा नंतर काही हॅलो दहा वाजता लेक्चर आहे का वेदांत वेदांत कदम आदित्य पाटील तुम्हाला दहा वाजता लेक्चर आहे का अरे काय बोलत नाही तुम्ही काय प्रॉब्लेम आहे केतन कुलकर्णी तुम्हाला लेक्चर आहे का दहा वाजता दुसरं कोणतं नाही बरं बरं ठीक आहे आपण जास्त वेळ काही घेणार नाही अर्धा पाऊन तास आपल्याला काही हे सॉल्व करायचे मी अगोदर तुम्हाला व्हिडिओ दाखवतो नंतर काही प्रॉब्लेम आपण सॉल्व्ह करू मी तुम्हाला सॉल्व्ह करून दाखवतो काही एक्झाम्पल्स कल्टिवेटर हॅरो आणि प्लाव्हर तीन याच्यावर तुम्हाला प्रॉब्लेम हा जो आहे इम्प्लिमेंटवर प्लाव्हर प्रॉब्लेम असतात कल्टिवेटरवर प्रॉब्लेम असतात म्हणजे प्लाव म्हणजे तो एम बी प्लाव किंवा डिस्क प्लाव त्याच्यानंतर कल्टिवेटरवर पण एक्झाम्पल किंवा प्रॉब्लेम असतात त्याच्यानंतर हॅरोवर असतात आणि नंतर सिड्रिलवर पण असतात सिड्रिल हा नंतरचा पार्ट आहे नंतर हार्वेस्टरवर पण असतात आपण सगळे प्रॉब्लेम सगळे हे घेऊ काय अडचण नाहीये तर आता आपण हे एक दुसरं दाखवतो मी तुम्हाला सम वर्किंग कळलं पाहिजे नुसतं थेरॉटिकल आपण बघतो बट यू शुड नो द वर्किंग ऑफ वर्किंग ऑफ डिस्क हॅरो will see in the youtube that uh, there is uh, we have to so just wait for 20 30 minutes we'll take uh, i'll show you just uh, some uh, video and also some uh, actually so this is the this is the working of uh, that uh, disk arrow
याला आपण हिच पॉइंट म्हणतो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ हिच पॉइंट दिस इज द हिच पॉइंट इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ हिच पॉइंट so we'll see another video this is just uh, the working of uh, the disk arrow then we will see the working of uh, cultivator or that there are some uh, many videos are there so we'll see the working of cultivator i will show you the working of uh, cultivator so you can see uh, that the tines are arranged in between two why the number of tines are in odd number you can see that say there are five tines behind and at the forward 1 2 3 4 uh, if the five tines are there then you have to actually the tines are mje ya don tines cha madhe tumhala ek ek tine takli number of tines kiti jhale ha 9 त्याच्यामुळे कल्टिवेटर मध्ये नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स आर इन ऑलवेज इन ऑड नंबर ऑड मध्ये असतं विषम याच्यामध्ये असतं समजा पाच असतील टाइम सेवन असतील म्हणजे सात असतील नऊ असतील अकरा असतील लाईक okay so we have seen actually the uh, video of uh, now uh, maybe some students don't know how what is the puddler so we will see the working of uh, puddlers so working of the puddlers in uh, working of puddlers in rice field see the figure of okay third is i think this is theoretical one so okay so we have to see puddling see uh, the wheels are arranged on the tractors and also one uh, sometime cultivator uh, type of arrangement hi pati mage ani hi wheel he kashala arrange kelele baka aplya tractor cha wheel la ek arrange kelele doni pan he baka hi he this is the puddler this is the operation of puddling churning of the soil churning of the soil takes place uh, because of the 
purling operations so purling is done uh, in uh, rice uh, field so this is the purdler this is the purdler this wheel is a purdler and one type of cultivator is also or leveler is also arranged behind this frame so this is the working of uh churning of the soil takes place because of this purdling so we have seen uh, short videos of uh, this one now we will solve some uh, examples okay so we'll solve some examples just so uh, wait uh, for a while we have to solve the examples from the plow we have just uh, solve one example i think we have solve just uh, one example now we will solve this uh, easy example first or just uh, it may be visible for you now write down the example in your notebook i will tell you how to solve this one write down it in your notebook a country plow per citrapas adult furrow having 8 cm top width and 3 cm bottom width the depth of the furrow is 8 cm assume the average uh, resistance to be 0.6 kg per cm square calculate the pull exerted by the bullock so it is country plow is a bullock drawn uh, plow which is also known as the indigenous plow uh, which is mostly used in uh, india so we have to find out the pull or the force force required we have to find out what is the force required uh, by the bullocks so write down this problem i will tell you how to solve this example you have written the example you can directly tell me that uh, if you have written that a country plow cuts a trapezoidal furrow having 8 cm top width 3 cm bottom width the depth of the furrow is 8 cm assume the average resistance to be 0.6 kg per cm square calculate the pull or the force required or exerted by the bullocks Have you written the example or not? Okay, I am not getting your response. Anything or that? Yes, sir. Have you finished? Okay, okay. Now we will see uh, the solution of that. So, if the screen is uh, visible now, so we will see the solution. So, it is given in the problem that there is a trapper's huddle for. Trapper's huddle. Upon Marathi, we have some lumbar saukon. So, some lumbar saukon. तो त्याचं तुम्हाला क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया काढायचा आहे अगोदर ट्रॅपर झाडल सेक्शनचा फरो सेक्शन काढायचा आहे म्हणजे त्याचा क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया काढायचा आहे 
मग काय असतो फॉर्म्युला मला वाटतं वन हाफ तुम्हाला जर समलंब चौकोनाचं जर क्षेत्रफळ जर काढायचं असेल एरिया जर काढायचं जर असेल ट्रॅपर व्हायचं ट्रॅपर व्हायचं ट्रॅपर झायटलचा तर वन हाफ इन ब्रॅकेट काय असतं सम ऑफ द लेंथ ऑफ द होरिझोंटल साईड आता इथं होरिझोंटल साईड म्हणजे टॉप विड आणि बॉटम विड ह्या त्याच्या होरिझोंटल साईड झाल्या टॉप विड आहे एट आणि बॉटम विड आहे थ्री वन हाफ म्हणजे इथं टू न डिवाइड केलं मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हाईट हाईट म्हणजे काय असेल सांगा बरं हाईट व्हॉट इज द हाईट हाईट म्हणजे काय असेल याच्यामध्ये हाईट म्हणजे डेप्थ हाईट म्हणजे काय राहील याच्यामध्ये डेप्थ इथे दिली ना बघा द डेप्थ ऑफ द फरो इज एट सेंटीमीटर म्हणून इथे एट न मल्टीप्लाय केले वन हाफ मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टॉप विड प्लस बॉटम विड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द हाईट हाईट म्हणजे डेप हा ट्रॅपर झाडल फरो जी तयार झालं त्याचा काय झाला क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया फरो क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया एफ सी ए तो आला फोर्टी फोर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेअर आता तुम्हाला ड्राफ्ट काढायचं ड्राफ्ट काढण्यासाठी एक फॉर्म्युला आहे सॉइल रेजिस्टन्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एफ सी ए एफ सी ए म्हणजे फरो क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया सॉइल रेजिस्टन्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया ऑफ द फरो किंवा एफ सी ए असं शॉर्ट मध्ये म्हणायचं त्याला ओके तर सॉइल रेजिस्टन्स हा के जी पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेअर मध्ये घेतलाय आपण आणि फ्रो क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया आता जो काढलाय तो सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेअर मध्ये हा सेंटीमीटर हा सेंटीमीटरला काय करेल कॅन्सल करेल म्हणजे आन्सर कशामध्ये येईल के जी मध्ये ओके ड्राफ्ट म्हणजे फोर्स पुल ड्राफ्ट इज द होरिझोंटल कंपोनंट ऑफ द पुल इन द डिरेक्शन ऑफ ट्रॅव्हल तर त्याची डेफिनेशन आली पाहिजे व्हॉट इज ड्राफ्ट ड्राफ्ट इज अ होरिझोंटल कंपोनंट ऑफ द पुल इन द डिरेक्शन ऑफ द ट्रॅव्हल सो यू शुड अंडरस्टँड the draft of what is what is mean by draft so uh, soil resistance is given it is given in the problem 0.6 and the for a cross sectional area is given 26. Point, uh, not 26. Point, it is 44 old we have calculated and if you calculate it can be converted into a uh, kg so 26.4 uh, kg so how uh, uh, we will convert uh, this kg into newton sanga kon sangta mala he liun gya solution liun gya he solution tumcha pull ha pull ala tumcha 26.4 kg pull kiwa force ala kiwa draft pan mana tumhi tela draft mhanje pull tar to ata tumhi he sagle solution liun gya te solution ala 26.4 kg pan mala ek sanga ki he tumhala newton madhe convert karaycha tumhi directly bolu shakta chart box me taku shakta ki tumhala agodar te solution lya ani mala sanga how to convert this uh, draft or the pull from kg to newton kg into newton kasa karnar sanga how to convert this draft into kg kg to newton kasa convert karnar sanga patkan चार्ट बॉक्स मध्ये टाका किंवा बोला तुम्ही डायरेक्ट तुम्हाला के जी मधून न्यूटन मध्ये कन्वर्ट करायचे के जी मधून कशामध्ये कन्वर्ट करायचे न्यूटन मध्ये कन्वर्ट करायचे हे तर कसं करणार तर हे जे आलंय अरे इट इज नॉट देअर सो मल्टीप्लाइड बाय नाइन पॉइंट एट तो ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फोर सो दिस इज युअर ड्राफ्ट ऑफ द पुल सो मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 9.8 ओके 26.4 सो इज नॉट गेटिंग समथिंग सो मल्टीप्लाय दिस 26.4 बाय 9.8 देन युअर पूल विल बी इन Newton. Have you written the solution or not yet? Uh, just tell me. Have you completed uh, the solution? Okay, 9.8 Krishna Kant Bankar, good. Okay, 9.81 also a correct one. 
pranika 1 kg is equal to 9.81 or 9.8 newton is correct so multiply by 9.81 or 9.8 uh, then it will be gets converted into what you can say newton so have you written the solution you can uh, put in the chat box have you written the solution or not then we will take a small one more uh, small example so tell me have you written uh, have you completed the solution if it is completed then we will take uh, one more example there are uh, Okay, we'll take uh, one more small example of that. Uh, so that tilt angle, this angle, we have seen that. Uh, then we'll go forward. This is the problem number one. So write down this example. Write down this example. determine horse power required to pull four bottom 32 cm plow working to a depth of 14 cm the tractor is operating at a speed of 5.5 km per hour and the soil resistance is 0.8 kg per cm square so write down this example first of all and then we will go in the solution write down this example so if you have finished writing this example determine the hp power required to pull a four bottom 32 cm plow working to a depth of 14 cm the tractor is operating at a speed of so write down the given data this is the first problem first of all you have to write though it is not uh, written here you have to write the given data write down the given data so maybe i will add uh, one slide so that uh, you will be able to write the given data this is the first problem so you can write the given data like uh, number of bottoms number of bottoms of the plow there are four then what is given 32 cm plow means size of the plow size of the plow is given size of plow actually it is here uh, the distance between it is distance between two successive bottom distance here actually size means the distance between two successive bottom it is given 32 cm like this okay? 
the distance uh, of four bottom 32 cm plow means the distance between two bottom is 32 cm or size of the plow is then the depth is okay write down another thing given data depth of the plowing okay depth of plowing depth of the plowing is what is depth of the plowing it is about uh, 14 cm it is 14 cm what is given operating speed or working speed that uh, working speed or operating speed is about about 5.5 5.5 sorry is 5.5 kilometer per hour okay then the soil resistance is i will take from here the soil resistance the soil resistance is given the soil resistance is you can write that the soil resistance is or uh, the soil resistance is given or it is equal to 0.8 kg per centimeter square it should be a copy it is kg per centimeter square okay this is the soil resistance so write down these terms first of all then we will solve examples okay this is the given data write down the given data write down this write down this given data Have you written the given data or not? Write down this. Okay. You have written this data or not it? You have written this data? Hello, just speak with me, Vedant Kadam. Yes, sir. There sir. Are some. Okay, then we will go for uh, the solution. Okay, to me, can I frankly tell you that you are chat box with Takar? कामाच्या गोष्टीच टाकत जा चॅट बॉक्स मध्ये नो प्रॉब्लेम तर हे आपण आता गिवन डेटा बघितला आता सोल्युशन ओके तोच प्रॉब्लेम आहे तर आता परत आपण हाऊ टू फाइंड आउट ते मी खूप टाईप केले तुमच्यासाठी तुम्ही व्यवस्थित बघा ते ओके त्याच्यामध्ये बघा सोल्युशन आहे तोच प्रॉब्लेम आहे प्रॉब्लेम तोच आहे फक्त त्याचं सोल्युशन बघा इथून सोल्युशन बघा सोल्युशन टोटल विड ऑफ द प्लॉइंग इज इक्वल टोटल विड ऑफ द प्लॉइंग काढलं पाहिजे विड ऑफ द वन प्लॉ बॉटम किंवा आपल्याला ते साईज ऑफ द प्लॉ म्हटलं ना एकाची विड किंवा डिस्टन्स बिटवीन टू प्लॉ बॉटम ते किती दिले थर्टी टू आणि नंबर ऑफ बॉटम किती आहे फोर मग ह्या थर्टी टू ला फोर न मल्टीप्लाय करा म्हणजे टोटल विड ऑफ द प्लॉइंग मिळेल ते किती आलं एकशे अठ्ठावीस सेंटीमीटर तुम्ही सोल्युशन पण सायमल्टेनियसली माझ्या बरोबर लिहा त्याच्यानंतर फरो क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया त्याला शॉर्ट मध्ये आपण एफ सी ए म्हणतो फरो क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया आपण शॉर्ट मध्ये काय म्हणतो एफ सी ए टोटल विड ऑफ द प्लॉइंग ही आपण आता काढली की आणि त्याला मल्टीप्लाय बाय काय करा डेप्थ ऑफ द प्लॉइंग टोटल विड ऑफ द प्लॉइंग किती एकशे अठ्ठावीस मल्टीप्लाय बाय डेप्थ ऑफ द प्लॉइंग किती आहे फोर्टीन हे नंबर आपण गिवन डेटा मध्ये लिहिले सो फरो क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया वन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेअर 
टोटल ड्राफ्ट टोटल ड्राफ्ट कसा काढायचा सॉइल रेजिस्टन्स मल्टीप्लाईड बाय फोरो क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया आपल्याला पॉवर काढायची एक गोष्ट लक्षात घ्या पॉवर काढण्यासाठी दोन गोष्टी लागतात इथं इम्प्लिमेंटची पॉवर काढण्यासाठी दोन गोष्टी लागतात एक काय लागतं सांगा एक लागतो ड्राफ्ट आणि दुसरं लागतं फरो क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया एक लागतोय ड्राफ्ट दुसरा लागतोय फरो क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया फरो क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया आता काढला ना आपण एक हजार सातशे ब्याण्णव सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेअर आला आणि हा ड्राफ्ट पण टोटल ड्राफ्ट किंवा ड्राफ्ट पण काढायचा असतो तर तो ड्राफ्ट कसा काढतो आपण आणि हा टोटल ड्राफ्ट मल्टीप्लाईड बाय फरो क्रॉस सेक्शन आपण टोटल ड्राफ्ट ला वरून पॉवर कशी काढायची ते आपण बघू पुढं आपल्याला डेटरमाईन हॉर्स पॉवर रिक्वायर्ड किंवा पॉवर रिक्वायर्ड काढायचे म्हणजे पहिल्यांदा तुम्हाला फरो क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया काढायचा पण फरो क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया काढण्यासाठी टोटल विड माहित पाहिजे आणि डेप्थ ऑफ द प्लॉइंग माहित पाहिजे मग टोटल विड कशी काढायची विड ऑफ द वन प्लॉ बॉटम किंवा जी दिली ती नंबर ऑफ बॉटम फरो क्रॉस सेक्शनल टोटल विड ऑफ द प्लॉइंग आता आपण काढली ती वन आणि डेप्थ ऑफ द प्लॉइंग फोर्टीन हे लिहा तुम्ही आणि टोटल ड्राफ्ट किंवा ड्राफ्ट कसा काढायचा सोयल रेजिस्टन्स मल्टीप्लाईड बाय फरो क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया मग ते सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेअर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेअर कॅन्सल होईल फरो क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया आपण आता काढलं एक हजार सातशे ब्याण्णव गुणिले सॉइल रेजिस्टन्स झिरो पॉईंट एट ते के जी मध्ये करा किंवा न्यूटन मध्ये करा इट कॅन बी कन्व्हर्टेड इन टू न्यूटन ऑल्सो ड्राफ्ट हा तुम्ही न्यूटन मध्ये पण कन्व्हर्ट करू शकता के जी मध्ये तसं ठेवलं तरी चालेल पण नाईन पॉईंट एट ने मल्टीप्लाय करा तो आलाय वन थाउजंड फोर हंड्रेड अँड थर्टी थ्री पॉईंट सिक्स के जी तर हे सोल्युशन लिहा इथपर्यंत ओके ते झाल्यानंतर आपल्याला काय शोधायचंय ड्राफ्ट मल्टीप्लाय बाय स्पीड करायचे नंतर आपण ते करू पहिल्यांदा तुम्ही टोटल विड ऑफ द फ्लाईंग हे लिहा नंतर फरो क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया हे काढायचे आणि नंतर टोटल ड्राफ्ट किंवा त्याला आपण सिम्पली ड्राफ्ट म्हटलं तरी चालेल पटकन कॅल्क्युलेशन करा आणि कॅल्क्युलेशन झाल्यानंतर तुम्ही चार्ट बॉक्स मध्ये टाका किंवा डायरेक्टली मला सांगा की वी हॅव कम्प्लिटेड अप टू धिस वी हॅव कम्प्लिटेड अप टू टोटल ड्राफ्ट टोटल ड्राफ्ट पर्यंत आमचं झालंय ओके हॅव कम्प्लिटेड अप टू टोटल ड्राफ्ट ऑर नॉट इट जस्ट लेट मी नो दॅट हॅव कम्प्लिटेड अप टू द टोटल ड्राफ्ट ओके नाव सो वी हॅव सीन जस्ट हाऊ टू नाव हाऊ टू कॅल्क्युलेट द पॉवर ओके सो ड्रॉबर एच पी ऑर पॉवर how it is calculated so draft is taken in kg and speed should be in meter per minute so draft we have already uh, calculated in kg 1433.6 it is in kg now the speed is 5.5 it is in kilometer so multiply it by 1000 5.5 is multiplied by 1000 it gets converted into meter but the speed is in kilometer per hour so convert one hour into minutes so how many minutes are there 60 minutes so it is divided by 60 you should understand that 5.5 is multiplied by 1000 uh, kilometer gets converted into meter and when one hour is equal to 60 minutes means when it is divided by 60 kilometer per hour इज गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू मीटर पर मिनिट हे कन्वर्जन करायला लागतं आपल्याला हे स्पीड हे मीटर पर मिनिट मध्ये येण्यासाठी वन थाउजंड न मल्टीप्लाय करा सिक्स्टी न डिवाइड करा आणि हा पाहिला फोर थाउजंड फाय हंड्रेड हा ऑलरेडी तिथं आहे तो आहेच आणि मग हे सर्व कॅल्क्युलेशन करा 
तुमची पॉवर ही एच पी मध्येच मिळेल दिस पॉवर इज इन एच पी हे जे तुम्ही काढणार इट इज इन एच पी सो मे बी सो द पॉवर विल बी इन एच पी ओके सो युअर ड्रॉप अर पॉवर ट्वेंटी नाईन पॉइंट टू झिरो सो राईट दिस सोल्युशन अँड इफ यू आर फिनिश्ड देन लेट मी नो दॅट इफ यू आर फिनिश ऑर नॉट ओके this is the second uh, we have solved some uh, problem there are many problems it is not possible to solve all the problems in one or two hours so we will take one two three one one uh, one two to three problems in one lectures uh, now uh, in next lecture we will uh, now primary tillage is finished uh, secondary tillage is finished with uh, some example uh, there are some examples are also remained and i will uh, uh take those examples in uh, next lecture so i will tell you uh, actually there is a holiday tomorrow it is also vijayadashmi dasra so i will not uh, take lecture tomorrow because of the holiday and uh, maybe uh, so i will uh, decide but uh, our lecture will be at 28 uh, in that uh, we will see some uh, sewing equipment because primary tillage is done secondary tillage is done we have to see uh, the sewing equipment like seed drill planter transplanter okay such things we have to. so uh, have you completed this solution or not just write in the chat box or you can speak with me no problem uh i haven't taken attendance yet so don't leave the meeting because i have to take the attendance okay ओके सो हॅव रिटर्न प्रणिका गांगुर्डे वैष्णवी वेदांत निकिता कृष्णकांत हॅव फिनिश्ड दिस प्रॉब्लेम ऑर नॉट मीन्स द सोल्युशन इज फिनिश्ड ऑर नॉट दिस वन मीन्स ड्रॉबर हॉर्स फॉर इफ यू हॅव हॅव नॉट फिनिश्ड जस्ट टेल मी देन आय विल एक्सप्लेन इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टँड एनिथिंग you can chat in the chat or uh, directly speak that okay finish okay uh, just wait for a while uh, as i am taking your attendance so don't leave the meeting i am taking your attendance thank you for the patience and uh, i'll take some attendance of all the students so that uh, so just wait for uh, a minute don't leave the meeting just wait for a minute there are some students so okay it is done now you can leave the meeting i will take the next topic uh, in next lecture Okay thank you very much the lecture is over you can leave the meeting the attendance is too uh, less actually i don't know what is the problem but it is too less you should uh, remain present for all the lectures and uh, practicals okay okay you, you can leave the meeting uh, the lecture is over